when I did this music video and I, I did this free hug campaign and oh, yeah, I wore yeah, this a like a story. dress kind of like this and you know I I went to you know Bandra station where there were like 200 rickshaw drivers and I just stood there with this free hug sign and they all looked they were was, it in, was like, it in English or was it in uh, Hindi? No, no it was in English uh, and a Hindi subtitle okay. changed. but the big thin free hugs was in English and um, and they were just like wondering first of all like what what is this woman like sitting here doing here? And then they thought, okay, maybe there's a camera. So, okay, they're just doing a shoot or something like this, right? And so then I went up to them because they did, I mean, for them it's such a big difference because like a, I was telling you this classist thing that we have going in our country, like you have the racist thing, we have the classist thing. And for them, their world, our world, they just look at you and they're like, oh, different worlds, yeah? And plus, if I look at her, then they'll just think, Oh, he's just staring at me the bad way and he's an asshole, right? I mean, this is what happens here. And so I said, okay, let me make the first move and let me go out there and give him a hug. And I did. And I hugged 200 Richa guys that day. Mm. And uh, not one uh, touched me the wrong way. Not mm. one. It was the most beautiful thing ever. And this is seven, eight years ago. What, what I love about your perspective in what I've watched about you, what I've read about you and, and meeting you, is that you just have so much compassion and so much clarity in terms of how you treat people. I love the rickshaw story. I feel like that, um, I just feel like in so many environments, we other people, we, we look at people as the other, we, we have stereotypes about them, and we're all afraid, you know, we all have this fear, and so like, if we can, if we look at all of these men, or all men as dangerous, um, then that will somehow keep us safe. And I think that um, that's, that's a really painful thing for men too, is the experience of being lumped into this, this predator thing. You're we talking about this idea of safe, um, you know, consent-based good violence. I think that there's definitely a dynamic around a male fear of being a predator that actually kind of limits our, our sexuality, our sexual expression.